What's up guys, I'm Engineer Jack and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, I'm Engineer Jack. So let's solve a problem here in hydraulics. So this is the problem, basahin ko muna. A cylindrical tank 80 cm in diameter and 90 cm high is filled with a certain liquid. The tank and the liquid weight 420 kg and the weight of the empty tank is 40 kg. Determine the following, we have the mass density, specific volume, specific gravity, specific weight, gravity force, and the pressure at the bottom of the tank. So first, we will draw the uh, problem. So we have a cylindrical trunk now. So let's say this is a tank. And we have height na 90 centimeters, or that is also equal to so 0 0.90 meters kasi in 1 meter there are 100 centimeters so we have also a diameter of 80 centimeters or 0 0.80 meters now ang size problem it is filled with a certain liquid so ibig sabihin yung tank na to is uh, puno ng liquid and the weight of the liquid the weight of the liquid plus yung weight of the tank or mass actually mass kasi sinabi it has a weight of 420 kilograms but for tank only it has a 40 kilogram mass so obviously the difference of that that is the liquid the the mass of the liquid which is 420 minus 40 that is 380 kilograms so that is the mass of the liquid our first requirement natin is the mass density so yung mass density natin, ang symbol niya is rho or ganyan yung symbol niya and that is equal to mass over volume. So kung hanapin natin, kailangan natin yung volume. So ano ba yung volume of the tank? Kasi yun yung kailangan natin, then mass over volume that is the mass density na. So yung requirement natin for this first question is we will solve the volume of the tank. So the volume of the cylinder that is the area of the base times height since na yung cross section niya is circle so we have uh, pi r squared h so just subject the values so since diameter is given 0.8 meters we can use 0.4 so point up uh, so pi times 0 0.40 meters square times yung height which is 0.90 meters so that is the height of the cylinder so i calculate lang natin yan that is so shift pi times 0.4 square times 0.9 ayun so 0 0.45 0 0.45 cubic meters that is the volume of the liquid so just substitute the value for the mass density now we have 380 kilograms the mass of the liquid all over the volume of the liquid which is which is 0.45 cubic meters so sa calculator i divide lang natin from this answer so 380 kilograms divide answer that is now the density of the liquid so we have 839.98 so the mass density now is 839.98 kilogram per cubic meter. So this is the answer for the first requirement. So the second requirement is the specific volume. So yung is a specific volume, let's say yung designation natin for that that is V sub S. So V sub S yung designation natin for specific volume and that is equal to 1 over the rho or the density so basically that is the reciprocal of mass over volume or that is volume over mass so since na compute natin yung density we can say that the specific volume that is 1 over 839.98 kilogram per cubic meter so we can get the specific volume now so itong answer natin, gagawin natin answer raised to negative 1, yan ang magiging sagot natin. That is 1.19 times 10 raised to negative 3 or that is 0 0.00119. So yung sagot now is 0 
119. Ang unit natin is uh, reciprocal lang ng kilogram per cubic meter. So that is cubic meter per kilogram. So this is the answer for the specific volume. Now the next question is the specific gravity. So in specific gravity now, let's say this the designation natin. Basta liquid ang pag-uusapan natin, yung specific gravity is equal to the density of a liquid all over a density of water. Basta liquid ang hinahanap, yung reference uh, density natin na i-divide natin sa uh, li liquid density, that is the density of water. But for gas, yung reference density natin is air. So since this is a liquid, yung reference natin is water. So, yung de density, divide ba lang natin sa density of water, that is 1,000 kg per cubic meter. So, 839.98 kg per cubic meter. E di divide lang natin sa 1,000 kg per cubic meter. This is the unit weight of water. So, that is 0 0.84. Yun, 84. Ground of ako sa 2 decimal place. Okay? So, pwede mo yan divide Balik ko lang. Yun, so, 839 divide 1,000. So, that is 0 0.839 or that is 0 0.84 pag in round off natin. So, after that, after masolve natin yung specific uh, gravity, we will solve the specific weight. Yung specific weight now, yung, yung the symbol natin is gamma or ito yun. The specific weight of the liquid, let's say sub L. That is equal, uh, equal to the density of the liquid times G or that is the acceleration due to gravity. So after we solve the density of the liquid, just multiply by 9.81 meter per second square. So we have 839.98 kilogram per cubic meter multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, 9.81 meter per second square. So you multiply mo lang yan. We have now... Multiply lang natin yan ng 9.81. So that is 8,240.25. 8,240.25. Uh, yun, yung unit niya is Newton per cubic meter. Or you can also say that is also equal to 8.24 kilonewton per cubic meter. So this is now the specific weight of the liquid. Now, yung next question, we have the gravity force. So, yung gravity force, dito ko na lang isulat. Yung gravity force, pag, uh, pag tinanong yan sa board exam, so basically, that is the weight of the liquid. So, yung weight of the liquid or the gravity force, that is also equal to the unit weight of the liquid times the volume of the liquid. So, yung unit weight of the liquid na computer natin, that is 8.24 kilonewton per cubic meter. Multiplied by the volume, which is na-compute natin kanina, that is 0 0.45 cubic meter. So, makakancel yung cubic meter. Ang may iiwan is kilonewton. The value now for the weight, that is, by 1,000, para maging kilonewton, times 0.45, that is 3.71 kilonewton. So, yung sagot is 3.71 kilonewton. This is the weight or the gravity force of the liquid. So yung last question now for this example problem, we will solve the pressure at the bottom of the tank. So the pressure of the bottom of the tank, uh, tandaan nyo lang na yung pressure, that is basically the unit weight of the liquid times pressure head. So since we have a tank na yung height is 0 0.90 meters, and this is filled with water, so, ibig sabihin, puno. So, yung pressure head natin is basically that is 0.9. So, yung multiply lang natin yung the, uh, the unit weight of the liquid which is 8.24 kilonewton per cubic meter multiplied by the pressure head which is 0 0.90 meters. That is now the pressure at the bottom of the tank. So, the pressure now at the bottom of the tank that is 8.24 8.24 multiplied by 0.9 ayun so that is 7.42 so magka-cancel yung uh, cubic meter maging meet, uh, square meter lang so kilonewton per square meter that is kilopascal so yung sagot now is 7.42 kilopascal so this is now the pressure at the bottom of the tank
So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope may natutunan kayo for this video. And see you next time.